Okay, Scott, you were talking about you know CAM profiles and the fact that you use computer modeling. I think NASA when I think that. What exactly <laughs> is computer modeling to you? Well, an example, I guess, would be what we did with our new 551 camshaft. The computer system, when Roy sets up the model, he has to tell it what the engine looks like, and then he tells it what RPM that we, or what RPM range we want to make the power in. So for this instance, we were, knew we were doing a touring cam. We knew we wanted to work around um, a, a stock header system that the 08 and earlier bikes had, that kind of weird stock Harley header system. So he put that in as, a, as an input into the computer system, and then he set up a range of um, an RPM range that we wanted to make torque. Then he lets the computer play with different durations for the lobes and different center lines for the, for the lobes, basically different durations and timing. Right. Um, and he gives it a pretty wide range to find things in. And then the computer just tries one after another after another, different combinations, and it keeps track of where the best part is. Pretty soon the computer leads you to where it says this combination of duration and timing will give the optimum power that you've specified. It may take a couple hours, it may take a couple of days. I mean, this, it can be thousands of combinations that the computer simulates. And it does this not just with Roy's computer, but we have a bank of servers downstairs with 20 different processors, 20 different separate computers with, I think they're each a dual processor. A um, lot of computing power goes into this. And it leads us, especially in the case of the 551, to a type of cam that we never would have thought of doing with conventional wisdom. You know, you, you get your blinders on, you've been doing this for 20 years, I know how to make a cam, I know exactly where it should be, but the computer doesn't have those biases. It, it looks for the best combinations, and it did take us to a cam that, when we first looked at the numbers, didn't look like they made sense, but you put it in the motor and you go ride it, wow, what a nice cam. <laughs> Pretty cool. So if you're looking to make your bike run like a rocket, SNS cams made in America.